We'll hear from Deandra Jordan again. It was an accident. I didn't mean to leave them for my father to find. At least, I don't think I did. That's what I told Lupe when she asked what was wrong this morning. I was still upset about my father throwing a fit when he found my art school brochures last night. You'd think I'd stabbed him in the heart the way he looked at me. I'm sorry he feels so bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've made up my mind. If I can get into an art school, I'm going. Mr. Ward thinks I have a good chance of getting a scholarship. We'll see. Mom says my dad will come around, eventually. I'm not so sure. Before I left home today, I slipped a poem and a drawing of Michael Jordan in my father's easy chair under the remote. That way, he wouldn't miss him. I was planning to give him the drawing for his birthday, but after seeing those brochures, he looked like he needed a transfusion. So why wait? Maybe a drawing of his hero will make him feel better. Besides, doing basketball portraits is the closest I'll ever get to my father's dream for me. So I might as well let him enjoy one now. I hope mom's right. I hope he does come around. I'm not just holding my breath. Open mic. Self-portrait. A poem for my father by Deandra Jordan. I've told you this before, but I guess it bears repeating. Love is not me being who you want. Your definition is a whirlpool trying to suck me in and I'm drowning. Don't you see? Don't you hear? I'm gurgling, battling for air, wishing you cared about what matters to me, but you can't or won't. Either way, I dip into my imagination, grab a rail, and pull myself free. It's time, Dad. Time you stop telling me who to be, how to live. This is my portrait. You chose your canvas. Let me choose mine. We'll hear Tyrone's reply. I didn't get her first few poems, but I dig this one. The future is ours. Let us have it. That's what she's saying. That's what we're all saying. But I'm lucky. These days, my mom ain't trying to push me in one direction or another. She's glad I have one. I read her this poem I wrote called Dream, about doing hip hop with my own band, and she started crying. My mom don't cry easy, so I felt real bad. But she said they were happy tears. You keep writing, baby, she said. You're doing good. I love my mom. 